Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching a brand new series, and that is What If. Now, I don't know what to expect with this, except I know it's basically just, what if this happened instead of this? Stories being told in a slightly different way, you know, like one thing, change, like one thing is different in how it just affects the entire rest of the MCU, basically, which is pretty interesting, actually. So I'm excited for this. And you know, I kind of want, I kind of want them to do a Star Wars version of this because like the idea sounds so good and i can i can think of so many little moments in star wars that it's like if there's one thing that happened or if there's one thing just went a little bit differently boom everything's everything's different you know but but we got this series and then we're gonna do multiverse of madness after this so i can't wait i'm excited and the way i think i'm gonna do this is i think i'm gonna do two episodes per video so there's nine episodes in total and then i'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine so five videos i might stack i might stack one video with three episodes just so it's only four total uh, videos i might do that with the finale 789 so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this series if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'd be available on patreon as an early access to the next two episodes of what if will also be available on patreon so let's get started a endless possibility to live worlds from the ones you know follow me and ponder the question what if what if all right also i did see the the title this one is what if captain carter were the first avenger so okay curious to see how i'm curious to see like what's different so that happens mm, i like the animation no i prefer to stay there oh. that's the moment that created a new universe okay so there's her staying down here but soon it would be her venturing into the serum will cause it. Yep, and that guy bombs it. Okay, so the bomb's stolen off though. Oh, then. Aw, oh, Steve just got capped. No pun intended. Lose everything. It has to be now. Do you know how much this. Ah, oh, then she does it because it's now or never. Agent Carter. What are you doing? She's stepping up, bro. What do you mean? This is our only chance. Now! Mm -hmm. Start. Don't do this. Nah. Oh shit. Did it work? Yeah. Wow. I'd call this an absolute success. <laughs> what an absolute failure. I feel like Tony said that. I feel like Tony has said that before. Down the drain. I was wow. In salvation. Instead, I get a girl. Be grateful you're in the room and not being brought up on charges of insubordination. Well, if we get lucky, someday your blood might tell us how to make a real super soldier. Jesus, bro. They sure as hell don't fight on the front lines. They might break a nail. Wow. Misogynist. Talk. Not according to Colonel Flynn, that weapons great moron! Bro, her testosterone is literally like 3,000 nanograms per deciliter now. All right, she's the best soldier we have. It's a buddy of mine from Brooklyn. He just deployed with the 107. Mm, too bad he dies later. Oh wait, no he doesn't. Unless now that Peggy's Captain America, somehow he doesn't die. This one little tiny change alters everything. So maybe Bucky never dies. He never falls off the train. Cause maybe they're not even in that situation anymore. Damn. That thing must be halfway to Berlin by now. More like Tooth Knight. We can get our hands. You're out of your mind, Stark. I could go. Great. Now you're both crazy. Fantastic. Wow. Bro, she'll she'll get it back. She'll put it in work for us. Maybe the war will be over before Hydra figures out how to turn the damn thing on. Wow, that's super naive. He just doesn't want to hand over power to Peggy because she's a woman. Like, it's so annoying. Like, we're gonna lose the war because of you. What's this? It was supposed to be oh. your U.S. Made a few upgrades. Your covert skills need work. Then this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> the shield. Oh, it's a British flag. Because I guess she is British. Okay. It was brilliant. Okay. I don't think Steve could ever do that. <laughs> I mean, this is animation, so like they can make or they can make them do anything in this. They can obviously they can't do that in live action. Oh, we got the big guy over here. Peggy's just gonna wax him though. Sending in a fragile frown line to fight for them. 
fragile. Ooh. Waxed. What's up? The war's out there. Wow, that was easy. Then you better promote me. Captain has a nice thing for you. Yeah, I want that promotion right now. Oh, I know exactly what to do with this. Aw. What's he doing? What's he doing? If your friend was taken prisoner by Hydra. Bucky's unit. Okay, Bucky already got captured. Asking. He's your friend. The best one I got. Aw. Besties. I owe you one. You owe me more than that. You owe me a dance. Aw. See, I love how it never mattered to Peggy what Steve looked like. Even when he was super tiny, she, was, she still liked him a lot. It was just a bonus that he got super tall and ripped. Steve Rogers sent me. The name's Captain Carter. Ooh, Captain Carter. That's catchy. Send air support. Copy that. Rogers, inbound. Steve? Rogers? What's Steve here? What's Steve doing here? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Steve! Hey, Peggy. Now you owe me one. <laughs> oh, he's good. But he literally has a, he has an Iron Man suit. With that that Hydra stomper, I think I'm friends with him too. So what did Howard just? Stark made me some new dancing shoes. Yeah, he, so Howard built an Iron Man suit. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that because I think it. I feel like it takes away from Tony now. So I was like Tony's thing. He came up with it. I guess his dad's like just as smart as him, but I'll explain my. I'll explain what I mean in the outro. I don't want to talk over anything. Stomper. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, sir. I told Stark to build it myself. Oh my God! Fuck this! This guy's such a freaking tool. This was such a poser. But a god does not answer to a man. <laughs> the third Reich. That was a cool transition. Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra! All right, let's see Peggy put in work and wax him. Whiskey. But the serum doesn't allow me to feel the effects. Oh, I remember when Steve said that. The way people view me has changed. I'm no longer screaming to be heard, to be seen, to be in the room. Mm -hmm. To be respected. Still that skinny kid from Brooklyn. Now just in a big metal suit. Aww. There's nothing without the man inside. You're my hero, Steve. Exactly. You're a hero. <laughs> nah, you, you can't take that back. It's too late now. Oh, no, 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 you continue. Just pretend I'm not here. Hey, actually, we're gonna get shawarma later. Wait, did he say that? Wait, okay, I remember in the first Captain America movie, it was like, it was Peggy, Steve, and uh, Howard, and Howard said, oh, we're gonna get something later on. Because, like, they're, they're supposed to go on a date or whatever, and I forgot what it was. I don't think it was Shorm. I think Tony said that. I don't know. Whatever. Copy. Time to make our entrance. Commencing operation. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the train scene. All right, well. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Thanks. You almost ripped my arm off. Well, I guess it was that easy to save him, so, okay. Peggy, go! Get out of Oh, shit. Oh no. Steve was the one that died. Steve! Oh yeah, he's dead. He has to be. I mean, he, he could still be alive in the zoo, but doubt it. Steve! Damn. RIP Steve Rogers. It you said that. Oh, Peggy's devastated. Not the Hydra Stomper, Steve, and we've lost. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she should never have been in the field. Oh my god, it wasn't her fucking fault. You're wasting your time. I will tell you nothing. He told me everything. <laughs> yeah, it's full fault. It's so quick. I just gotta slap him like once or twice and he'll start talking. Colonel, you're lucky to even be in the room. Yeah. The Red Skull wants to destroy our- Go stand in the corner, okay? 
You're gonna act like that. Go stand over in the corner. <laughs> Go stare into the corner. Know that we might not succeed in ending the war. We might not survive, but we will stop Hydra. Bet. Then it's worth it. Oh, Peggy's going off. This is for Steve, bro. She's going off. She has the most motivation ever. Oh, they have the suit. Have a plan. Who needs a plan? I have a shield. <laughs> a shield is not a plan. Oh, Carter. I have a plan. Attack. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. This is... We opened a portal to fucking... Looked like uh, the thing in Thanos' army. Oh, never mind. That's just an octopus. Bro, it's literally just Squidward. Ooh. Waxed. Stark was right. Indestructible. Uh, Steve! Steve! Oh, Steve's not dead. He did survive. Okay. Hey, I need a hand. Come on, help me get him out of here. No. Guess it is indestructible. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> you You mean transpose the polarity and reverse the suction? Hey, being the genius is my thing. <laughs> Everything's in German. Great. Well, figure it out. Bro, just start pressing buttons. Just pull that lever. I know. Just do it. Red, green, blue. Yep. Who paints the bottom? Bro, he literally is just pressing buttons. Mara and I spent a weekend together, but she wasn't teaching me German. <laughs> I love how him and Tony are so similar. Steve? Did you miss me? Yep. Every second. Aww. Hold you, it was indestructible. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Of course he'd point that out, you know. Oh, wow. Lord of the Calamari. Lord of the Hentai. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Peggy, no! Uh, just like he... You owe me a dance lesson. Uh, yes. Saturday night. Uh, just like Steve sacrificed himself for everyone. And wow. Like he crashed the plane. Damn. Well, at least we got the Deseract. Oh, yeah. I don't have Peggy. So, did we really succeed? Was it really a, a success? Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> Where is she? Ma'am, please put... Where's Steve Rogers? Who? The war ended almost 70 years ago. Damn. I feel like... I guess you would know who Steve is. He's still putting work. We won the war. Damn. Her one choice gave Same. birth to a whole new history and gave the multiverse a new hero. Damn, that's it. Yeah, I mean, 30 minute episode. All right. Damn, that went by hella fast. All right, brief thoughts on the first episode so far. I thought it was pretty solid. I liked it. It was unique. Okay, what I was trying to say earlier about like the whole suit thing though, it's like, I mean, I think that's kind of cool, but but this is what I was thinking of. So how could, how could Howard have made the Iron Man suit or like the Hulkbuster suit, whatever, you know, because that suit is pretty damn big. How could he, how did he think of that? I, I get he's Tony's dad and they have very similar minds. They think very alike. But at the same time, Tony, Tony made the first Iron Man suit out of like pure desperation. It was inspired by how desperate he was to get out of that cave. If he was never in that cave, in that situation, he would have never thought of that suit. And so, how, I mean, like, ah, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. You know, I, I kind of feel like it was a little cheap to bring the suit in here, but I guess you got to give Steve a role, too. You got to give, you got to get him involved in it, and I guess it's like the only way you really can. So it, it's whatever. It honestly doesn't matter. 
But it was cool to see Peggy as Captain Carter now. I think it was a good idea for the first episode. On the episode two. Okay, the next episode is what if T'Challa became Star-Lord? Okay, R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. But I'm, I'm actually really curious to see like how how that actually goes. Like how, how would that work? Stories that fill them. Morag. Oh. Alright, yeah, this is when Quill got the Power Stone in Guardians, but it's the Chala. Who are you? Identify yourself! Who, me? I am just an ordinary junker. But there <laughs> is one name. Stalo! I'm a huge fan of your work. What are you doing here? That was not the reaction I was okay. expecting. He's a fanboy of Star Lord when. And Guardians they didn't give a shit, but I guess it's like. I guess he was a better better Star Lord than uh, Quill. Ah, a lord. It is not an official title, nor is it one I am comfortable with. <laughs> of course! Ah, so humble. Love to see it. Really, what you want? Oh, it shall be the honor of oh, my life. It's an honor to spar with him. Oh, should I not use the gun? Go ahead. Really? Please. No, 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 no. It's not a problem. I could get rid of it. It's okay. You sure? Go ahead. Use the gun. Oh, is... Yeah, you'll, you'll need the gun. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too easy. Hit me. Oh, my lord. I didn't mean to. That is what we're here for. Do it again, but this time faster. Harder. Really? I barely move. <laughs> oh, right in the thing. Ah, uh, silly goose. Now I almost feel bad. It's like uh, in jujitsu when you're rolling with someone better than you and like you actually pull something off against them. And you're like, you kind of freeze for a second because you're like, wait, I just did that against like this purple belt or brown belt. And then, you know, then... They stop let then they stop letting you work and then they turn it on. Like you get that close to submitting them, but then they just get out of it and throw you across the room. All right, you're just like, all right, sick. Oh, it's Yondu. All right. Yeah, so I guess Yondu picked up T'Challa instead of Quill. But how did he get into Wakanda though? Because like Quill was just in the middle of like Missouri, I think. You know, in like a field. The beginning of his journey was much more down to earth. Earth, Wakanda, 1988. Okay. All you will find there is destruction and pain. Mm -hmm. Those people a product of variables. Yeah, the barrier. As he as he just goes yeah, he goes outside the barrier. Instances. The wrong place at the wrong time. Yep. Heading on Earth to abduct the spawn of the celestial ego. Mm hmm Yandu outsourced the assignment to his subordinates. Oh, and they got the wrong kid. Brad, the wrong kid. Yeah. Uh, not so fast. Bro, this is actually a dub right here. This is a massive dub. Everything checks out. Does this really look like Peter Quill to y'all? Sure. <laughs> Cosmic readings where he was took nearly broke our dial. If they're not from that planet on that planet, it's there. Well, True. Sounds fun. But why stop at one world, huh? When we can show you all of them. Wow, that's actually fucking sick. Like imagine being a, him, that kid, and just like seeing that. That would blow it, dude. That would be insane. That would blow anyone's mind at any age, but especially a kid. From destiny to half of the universe. Oh, no. I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm... What the fuck? Kachala here showed me there was more than one way to reallocate the universe's resources. Sometimes the best weapon in your arsenal is just a good argument. Aye, aye, Commander. Although I still assert my plan was not without its merit. Mm. Oh. Pretty sure it's still just genocide, big guy. And I'm pretty sure it's efficient. Ooh. Damn. But damn, okay, that's trippy to see. Oh, it's Drax. That's trippy to see Thanos, though. I guess to, I guess T'Challa calmed him down and just, just straight up talked to him. Damn. It's so it's so noble and honest of T'Challa, dude. Love it. We should take another one. You look terrible. I look great. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> he looks pretty good from where I'm standing. Oh, it's Nebula. He's lucky I call him the big guy. You know he gardens now. You should talk. Oh yeah, we know about his garden. His little, his little Minecraft garden. When I was young, mm. Yandu attempted to return me to Wakanda, oh. but it had been destroyed. Oh. Damn. I'm sorry. But he was right. 
You lost your home, and now you save everyone else's. Mm -hmm. That's the name of this tune, huh? Kill a dying planet in minutes, and with a payload hmm. the size we're talking. Eradicate hunger across the galaxy. Don't tell okay. Captain Genocide over here. You must spoil his fun. <laughs> New guy's pretty fun. I feel like it's more about the journey and the chase with Thanos. Like the goal, the end goal is cool, but. It's about the journey, not the end. Frame whatever's left and hang you up on the wall. So long as the collector's involved, we are not. Damn, so I guess the collector's like actually kind of a badass in this universe. Cause like in the last one, in the normal one, he's a total wimp. Accomplish all we set out to do. Then it's time we rub the bank. Yeah, bro, this is the, like the way they described it, this will actually change the galaxy. Gotta at least try. Mining colony in the severed head of an ancient celestial being. Hmm. Celestial being. Wow. I know that. I, I recognize that because we watched Eternals. I mean, they could have said that in Guardians 2 and it went right over my head because I, I hadn't seen Eternals when we watched either of the Guardian movies. Whichever one the collector was in. First one, I think. It. Yeah, well, try calling me Captain Genocide again, new guy. Mm -hmm. Captain Genocide! The Ravagers will start a riot, drawing the attention of the Black Order. We have a situation. Oh, oh. wait, okay, I guess they're not working with Thanos not in this timeline either. They're not working for the Collector. Damn. Please! I have no notes! A perfect plan! What could possibly go wrong? Everything. What can go wrong will go wrong. I, mean, I couldn't help myself. Oh, hey, you <laughs> creep show. Oh, yeah, he's a weirdo. <laughs> Old enough to remember when the Ravagers used to be fun. Bro, why is he so jacked, though? <laughs> oh, we gotta free that dog, bro. We gotta free that. Oh, yeah, we have to free that dog now. All this okay. suffering, and for what? My guess, he's compensating nope. for something. The duck. Pretty sure that duck showed up in Endgame when all the portals opened. Like there was like one frame with him in it. That total snooze. Screw it. <laughs> you know what they say when you're out of luck? Always go duck. I'm shit. Oh, 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 the flashy flash. You always know how to bring the. F Dude, we have to go. Where you going? Come back here. Are you crazy? Dude, these episodes move at a really fast pace. I mean, I guess they have to since they're so short. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's from Wakanda. There, you are one bright, burning light in the night sky oh. of plane or the next. Oh, okay, okay. That's why it's here, because they went out looking for him. It's like, damn, well, now he knows that he was deeply missed. I wanted him back. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, she fucking crossed us. Lie to me. I was protecting you. Told me my homeland had been destroyed. Mm -hmm. My family killed me. Whoa, guess it. So yeah, I guess you wouldn't have an attachment. Lie to see the truth. Okay. You're just like me, T'Challa. No. Damn. Nothing like you. Yeah, no. Damn, that's all sad. How Yondu lied to him like that. I mean, well, he did the same thing to Quill, right? Totally lied to Quill, so. Are you sure you cannot fly or shoot lasers out of your eyes or something? Let's go a few rounds and you can find out. <laughs> I prefer you in the cage. Well, I yeah, because you know you'll lose. Because you're still a wimp. How could you do this to us? To my best friend T'Challa. You are the worst. <laughs> oh, shit. Guy, I'm here to rescue you. Okay. Not like you to change your mind. Oh, I didn't. This was always the plan. Oh, okay. I told T'Challa that the collector oh. was after him right from the jump. What is this job? Oh, so she, okay. So she told him from the beginning. I had no idea about that Wakanda for him. Oh, so all of this has been a triple cross? Yeah. It was T'Challa's idea to keep you in the dark. Cause he knew I would never let him walk into a trap. All right, bro. I mean, yeah. Look, yeah. T'Challa wasn't pissed. When he got into the cell about the about getting caught, he was pissed about the ship. So it sold his emotion, I guess. All right, bet. Oh, yep, the necklace. Oh, oh, she came through. I saw her kind of look at the chocolate too. 
I am forever in your debt. Let's go. Mm. Oh my god, why does he have a rock arm? Is that fucking Korg's arm? I, I swear to god, that better not be Korg's arm. But a wallop, does it not? I hacked it off the carcass of a terribly chatty crow. Of course, if that's not your style, there's plenty more we can play with. Of course. What do you mean by that? <laughs> of the dark elves. Or perhaps you prefer something at such Oh, ruler of the dark elves? Oh, he's Captain America's shield. Oh, he has Hyla's helmet. Oh, that woman has taste. A necrosword. Courtesy of the Bro, how did he... goddess of death. Yeah, how did he wax Hyla? What? I feel like she would easily beat the collector. Or like whoever came after her. It literally took Ragnarok to kill her. And he said like the ruler of the Dark Elves. And like, dude, I can't remember his damn name. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but that was from uh, Thor 2. Ooh. Hey, I mean Thanos is still hella raw even without the gauntlet. Like he damn near beat Tony Cap and Thor in Endgame without before he got the gauntlet, so without the gauntlet, so. <laughs> Scream home and family, and now your new family has abandoned you. Karma, never, bro. They'll be back. Ravager never flies solo. Yep, oh. yep. they'll never leave me. Wait. Now it's a party. Ain't no way in hell I was gonna leave here without my kid. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bro, Thanos is kinda getting that's kinda washed. Oh. Why is he kinda trash in this? Yondo's like, I'm not your father, but I'm still your daddy. <laughs> like he said in Guardians 2. <laughs> oh. oh okay, yeah, that's what they were after. And she literally made him eat one or eat a couple. Bro, that had me so weak when he said that in Guardians 2. I I was literally crying. Oh, good. oh yeah, I'll put his ass in one of those. Ooh. There is not a corner in this galaxy beyond my grasp. But I trust you'll know what to do with this. Oh, I have some ideas. Bro, T'Challa is so fucking cool with Star Lord. He's so smooth. No. No, 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 no. Stay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to let everyone out. Let's go and kill them. Come tear them apart. Damn, I took over the, the slush little head fast. Copy that, Cha Cha. Oh, they did get the dog. Let's fucking go. You always did have a soft spot for runaways. I'm going to get one of those costumes for Nala. <laughs> to see the world. All you did was show me the universe. Aww. Oh, he's home. Baba. My son. My son. Uh, I knew you would find your way home uh, to us. I'm sorry it took me so long. Let me hey, since he became Star-Lord, I guess that means his dad never died like he did in, um... What movie was it? Captain America movie. Winter Soldier, I think. Dad. I mean, if you really wanted to put a label on it, Charlie and I are best friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, jump. No, he is your best friend. But you're not his. Exactly, my son came to be in your spaceship. <laughs> Funny. I was lost, Baba. Yandu found me. Oh, yeah. Cover for Yandu. Because <laughs> he literally kidnapped him. Oh, is this Quill? I was wondering, like, okay, like, what happens to Quill then? Cause he's live like a regular life. Uh, sorry, we're close. Come on, Peter. Can't spare oh. a little time for dear old dad. Okay, I guess Too Ego bad. finds him anyway. Cause that's right. Peter's not. Tech, he's not um a regular. He's not just a regular. Oh, we dedicated to our finer inspiration and our hero, Chadwick Boseman. Damn. All right, P. 
It's really good in this too. Damn. But that was that was what if episode two. All right, so that was what if episode one and two. I really like them so far. It's really interesting to see how just like the littlest thing, the littlest decision, can make such a big difference on the MCU. You know. And yeah, I was wondering about Quill too because, like in the last episode with Steve, it was like he never became Captain America, but he was still pretty involved in it. So like, what ends up happening to Quill? And like, yeah, he's not a regular person. He's um, he's a he's a celestial because of his dad, right? So it's like, I was wondering like, okay, like what ends up happening to him? Does he just live a normal life? But no, that actually makes sense. His dad would actually come and find him eventually, and so, like shit, we know what his dad wants to do, <laughs> but. Like, like shit, I guess. Um, I guess that, that actually makes a pretty big difference because because his dad wants to take over planets and Quill is all by himself, so he's probably gonna get influenced pretty hard by his dad. His dad probably succeeds now, so shit. Because like Yondu's not with him and the entire Guardians aren't with him to help stop Ego, so it's like shit. Yeah, I really like I really like the animation style. It's it's really different. I ever okay. I don't, I don't really watch a lot of animation shows if I'm being honest. So it's like this is pretty unique to me. And it's pretty cool. I really like it. I like it a lot. So, and I know I said in the intro, I want them to make a Star Wars version of this. Now I really want them to make a Star Wars version of this because this would be so, that would be so fire. Like the little things that happened so far were just Peggy decided to stay on the ground and she didn't go up the stairs. That's literally it. And in here, they picked up T'Challa instead of Quill because, you know, Yondu set his, sent his subordinates to go pick up the child and they detected him in Wakanda because of because of the readings they were getting from Wakanda. So they just assumed to go there. And I was like, damn, I'm really liking the show so far. So I can't wait for episode three, but I'm gonna stop wasting time. So comment down below what you thought about this, these two episodes down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.